Hi Libra, welcome back. I'm going to continue your reading for May 18th to the 24th, 2016. Um, this abundance, love abounds, all good things coming to you kind of reading. So let's see what we got. You have this breakthrough. So this is the seven worlds. So you have seven of cups, the seven of worlds. So the uh, surrounding energy of your reading is also very spiritual. It's abundant in its power and learning to own who you are and knowing that is your power, that nobody can take that away from you and you don't have to control anybody else to own yourself who you are. You don't have to worry about anything being taken away from you. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Every once in a while I find like a little hair from my cat. I have a Persian cat and he has the tiniest, thinnest hairs and I'll find this. <laughs> so gross, sorry. Cancer. I realize there's like a hair in my eye for who knows how long. Uh, it's okay. Alright, so this is when success is unfulfilled, but you're having a breakthrough to um, how to find your success, how to find this abundance, how to find this value, how to find this start of something you love that makes this an explosion in your soul. Um, so I was talking about this before the, before the camera cut out and so I, was, I, I see a, like a Merlin, a magician in this one. So maybe you were making magic and somebody else didn't understand that about you and this was creating illusions for them about you. It doesn't always have to be your own illusion. Or maybe you had so many facets you felt the other person felt like there were too many decisions, too many options, too many things. They didn't know where to go. But maybe that abundance is found through the value of what you hold true or what the other person holds valuable. Maybe it's not the dragon, the fairy, the octopus, the crown, the spaghetti, the rainbow, the, cr the stars. The and I have octopus. I think I just pulled an octopus also in the... Scorpio video. Maybe you are dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio energy is important to you for some reason. Maybe that's important to somebody out there. Um, maybe you should watch that video. Uh, and there's like a castle. So there's all these options, all these things that you can create. Which one are you going to create? Which are you going to present yourself? Which is your strongest? Uh, if you're in like Harry Potter and you were doing all these things to learn how to make a dragon with your wand, learn how to make a rainbow. Which of your skills in your niches are you the best at that is going to give you the value you need, the, the stability you need, the uh, courage and uh, confidence that you need to get really good at that one thing that you do, to give you the breakthrough. What's the thing that makes you jump, that makes everyone else like, oh, how'd you do that? What is that for you, Libra? What's ready to pop for you? What's on the edge that's just ready to burst? Maybe there's something coming towards you today. Maybe somebody's having a breakthrough towards you today. Maybe somebody's having a breakthrough about you, Libra, today, about love, making a start for you. I also see the horse. So maybe horse symbolism means something. Um, connecting to your animal nature, to your animal side. When you connect to a horse, you sink yourself in and you allow your, your, um, your energy, you allow it to move with the horse. So when you want the horse to stop, you sink and you, you breathe. You don't tense up and get you know, scared if it takes off on you, you relax. So maybe that's what you need to know. 
Maybe you need to know how when some things come out, break through and come. Just sit back, enjoy the ride, go with the flow. When you canter on the horse, it's the easiest to do. It's actually easier than walking. It's easier than the trot. It's faster. It's more dangerous maybe if you're not prepared for it. So maybe just be prepared for it this time. Maybe this time the other person is going to be prepared for it. I don't know if this is you or who you're dealing with, um, but something's breaking through. And when you're cantering, that's the brum, 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 brum. It's like riding a wave. You ride the saddle like this, right? And when you trot, or you know, if you're doing like English, it's like so you have to kind of belt up with the horse, right? Every time. And then the walk, you know, it's kind of, you got to kind of move too. But the canters, in my opinion, the fun, the fun one. So maybe you weren't aware, aware of how to move with that canter when it started galloping. But now you're ready to get on your horse. Now you got it. You're like, ooh, that was kind of exciting. It actually was better than the whole trotting thing I thought I was doing before. And I get there faster. So something's breaking through like that. Choosing to go faster. Choosing to go smoother to ride with the waves of whatever's going on to fuel this fire. It's a fire of your soul. It's a fire of spirit. And it's a fire that wants a new start somewhere. Defeat or not. Defeated in the past or not. You're ready to break out of what was broken in the past and move forward with something of value. Maybe you need to learn, you know, how to balance your finances, your work, in your life and feel like you were confident there so you could bring that confidence in your life. Or maybe you're going to meet somebody or you have somebody there that's going to start to see, you know, the things about you that are not illusions, that are of value, that are stability and bring abundance. And together, you can be these two, saving this girl and giving her CPR, like I said in another video, and you actually got there on time. You work together. I'm going to show you your words of truth. Under the Seven of Cups, let's see what we have. You have destiny. First thing I wanted to say is destined to make magic. Decision. And power. What is power in your life? What is power to you? Power is releasing control and trying to change anyone else. Power is allowing everyone to be who they are and have their own place as well. Power is you owning who you are. That is powerful. Right? It's allowing abundant, unconditional love in you in every situation that you get into. My dad is showing my sister's boyfriend how to use the weed whacker. I hope everything is okay. Under the Five of Swords, Libra, you have alignment, success, and rest. Maybe you need to get some rest to get back in alignment, to get your ass ready for success. Maybe something came that was the issue. It's, this is the issue at hand. So the power, the thing you need, by the way, this is the female energy is the illusions. The receiving part of you is in delusion of what you want. So you need to become clear of what you want. If it's somebody else and it's a relationship thing, you need to be clear about you want what you want and speak about it so it's not in illusions to the other person. And this is what you need to allow. You need to allow yourself to speak about what is important and what is of value to you. All right. And the issue at hand is the alignment, rest, and success. You need to get in alignment. Get yourself together so you can hold all that energy that comes along with, with the success. And the defeat is maybe the reason why you are going to succeed. 